Hey everyone, Sean here, and welcome to this review for uh, a movie that I uh, went out and watched uh, very recently. In fact, uh, I went went out and watched it um, pretty much on a Wednesday night, and let it sit a for a little bit. And of course, this movie uh, was Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, this does have a kind of an interesting sort of backstory behind it, um, depending on where you what kind of angle you want to take a look at but you know you got the whole thing with disney and fox and all that stuff uh but essentially yes this is you're going in seeing this pretty much a disney movie that happens to have a r rating and uh, i think they um fulfill that quite uh tastefully let's just put it that way i mean you this is deadpool if you've watched the two other movies, you know what to expect, and I think it fulfilled that quite well. And I love, you know, the the, the sort of like the pre pretense and pretext, I guess you could say, or the context around this movie, so to say. Um, I guess in and out. With the fact that, yeah, a lot of these MCU films, as of uh, what Phase Four, whatever the hell it's at has been uh missing quite a bit um and not being quite the hits that we've kind of wanted to expect like um all the other films prior to endgame there were some um rough diamonds in a rough but overall um this that whole phase has been uh leaving disappointments more than anything and which is why I have not frequent uh, the theater, right? The movie theater for the MCU films. I rather um, either just put that to the side completely or um, omit myself from watching the streaming shows that have come later on. Uh, the ones that, you know, that came before like or during the height of the pandemic, you know, in 2020 and 2021-ish, around that time, um, I definitely took the time to sort of um, check out the premieres of the streaming series, uh, including ha the Hawkeye one, uh, WandaVision, Loki, so on and so forth. And I think Loki is definitely up there for me personally. Uh, but of course, later on, there were... Uh, couple of dumb ones like the She-Hulk one and the one with uh, Miss Marvel I think it was but Kamala Khan I think her name or the, her, her real sort of alter ego is or whatever but um, uh, point being um, they haven't been uh, all that well um, especially with the some of the recent movies like the uh, Captain Marvel 2 I think and then um, uh, Ant-Man and Wasp Quantum whatever uh, was also a disappointment uh, to Mixed and even to an extent uh, Black Panther 2 was also uh, was not firing on all cylinders uh, depending on who you're talking to so but yes all point being yeah, that they've been uh, disappointing. And Deadpool and Wolverine is essentially is a two hours and eight minutes worth of shit posting that in a way. At least there were shit posts, uh, or just like straight making fun of it. Um, kind of peppered throughout the movie. You know, even it's 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 like almost like it does, you know. Uh, made me feel like uh, they almost like planned these films to be shitty or uh, like mixed like a mixed bag just for Deadpool to be that much more of a success you know putting on my tinfoil hat there for a moment but um, yeah it's almost like they, they were well planning for this to happen so that yeah um, it all makes sense for Deadpool to say those things, right? It's like, uh, you know, how, 
you know, especially with how it's written, the dialogue and everything, it's it just feels like that, you know. But not to say that it, it was anything bad. Um, I just thought, with all that context and all that stuff, I can't help but think that, to an extent, maybe they let some of those films kind of like let it be on purpose, just so other films can kind of like uh, piggyback uh, off of it or sort of like l use it as leverage for their dialogue and humor and such like that to, yes, make fun of themselves or make fun of other movies. Uh, even even She-Hulk tried to do that, but it kind of failed for the most part. Um, but yeah, uh, Deadpool sticks to its guns, kind of literally. Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. It was really nice also, uh, not only it was a uh, ship post to the recent MCU stuff, but also kind of almost like a like a, uh, a love letter to a lot of, if not a good chunk of the Fox films that had Marvel stuff in it. Um, you Probably some people have already been spoiled, but there were characters from other X-Men films under the under the uh the fox name and um of course it definitely um references logan a lot obviously because you know logan right wolverine uh i love that they really stuck to the comics this time around at least a little more especially with the costume right of wolverine um the yellow the yellow and blue jumpsuit is back spandex whatever you want to you know come up with but yeah um even like the early um fox i think it was fox anyway um the first the first x-men film the live action one with yes um wolverine hugh jackman as wolverine and we had cyclops and storm you know halle berry as cyclops uh no excuse me storm right with the infamous line and everything about toads and all that stuff because toad and uh, it, it, it even, uh, you know, Sabretooth to an extent, um, they threw that in there too. And let's not forget, um, you know, uh, well, I, I guess that'd be a minor spoiler, but whatever. I'll just try to keep it safe as much as possible. But yeah, um, the characters that you see, uh, I can't help but felt like a love letter to an extent. Especially if, if uh, when people enjoy those films to that extent, like it's like a nostalgic trip. Um, I, I remember seeing a lot of those films, you know, including Fantastic Four, right? I haven't, I didn't, I did not see The Silver Surfer in full. I've only seen like pieces of it, but it's kind of like foggy in my memory. But um, the X Men films, you know, one, one through three, right? I haven't seen the first class stuff. I've seen Logan, so I do have have a, a pretty good understanding. And uh, speaking of which, this is something you don't have to have like a full understanding. There are some things that, yes, obviously, uh, to reference some of the recent MCU films. But not too much. You don't have to like do your homework completely. Uh, maybe with the exception of like Ant-Man or something. But you've already seen in the trailer with the giant Ant-Man helmet. Um, so... Uh, it's, point being though you don't really have to do your homework um, as long as you kind of like watched some of the Fox films with like X-Men and all that stuff in it and probably Logan I think I think that's like the most you, sh you should do in my opinion is to watch uh, Logan right some of, at least some of the uh, the Wolverine films um, the X-Men films to an extent just watch the first one, really, and then, and, um, so that you understand, like, the significance of the appearance of this Logan and such, right? So, um, I, I, I thought that they treated Logan just so, with so much respect. I love this iteration of Logan. I love his, uh, sort of chemistry with Deadpool, of course. This is a Deadpool film, after all. Um, of course, Deadpool is Deadpool. You know, like I said, like if you've seen the other two films, you know what you're expecting, and you get what you expect. And then perhaps a little more because of Wolverine. I think he definitely uplifts 
in case like you're getting a little tired of uh deadpool he's just right there to be like Ugh. you know he's like the straight man and then of course deadpool is the comedic one right the 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 silly one if you will but and that up to 11 if you if, if you know if you know what i mean um yeah so like the the chemistry was there i really like the characterization of both logan and deadpool especially when they're together right once they're together the premise is um of course kind of like connecting with the whole multiverse thing i believe you've seen that in the trailer so you see uh i think his name was paradox the gentleman who has that uh the british accent or whatever i think um some sort of accent and he um you know plot dumps the thing like oh yeah this happens this happens if you don't do this this will happen that kind of thing um but yeah if you watch like enough of the streaming series you kind of get that basic structure especially with the time the whole timeline thing with the branches and all that stuff oh if you don't do this this will decay and all that stuff this this timeline will decay that's essentially the plot of it um so you know if you don't oh yeah you know if you don't take this deal or if you if you don't accept this offer this will happen that's essentially like the basic structure of the story or, or the basic premise of the story for dead uh deadpool wolverine so um simple enough if you're into uh if you're into the basics of this phase of the mcu um but otherwise if you're like going in like completely fresh like not understanding what deadpool is You'll definitely get kind of get lost, but you'll be definitely entertain be entertained by this zany personality of Do uh to Doom. Sorry, sorry, Deadpool. We had that Robert Downey Jr. announcement thing, right? Anyway, um, uh, you'll you'll definitely kind of like laugh, but just because of what you're really seeing and not so much like understanding what really Deadpool is all about, right? Um, of course, with the multiverse thing, uh, you'll definitely see a number of Deadpools, right? Not, I, I think that's something everyone can expect. And those Deadpools, I think were a nice, nice touch. Um, especially with the first one, the first, I guess, variant that Deadpool meets. I thought that, I thought that Deadpool was really funny. And, um... The dog, right? You got dog pool. You know, playing up the whole, like, ugliness of the dog. The long old tongue and everything. Uh, I think it's supposed to be, like, a mix of a pug and, like, those, like... Oh, what do you call those? Like, they're supposed to be, like, the world's ugliest dog breeds or something. But they're just dogs, you know? They just happen to, like, have this particular look to them. So that may have been, in like, a, like, a... I don't know, a mixed breed of sorts... But anyways, um, you know, Deadpool loves his fucking dog because, you know, it's a dog, right? Um, so that could come off as a little cliche for, for a number of people. You know, I get it. Yeah, it's a dog, right? It's so cute, whatever, right? Um, yes, it's kind of ugly, but, you know, it has that charm to it, you know. Um, even Wolverine is, like, basically... Um, kind of like kind of someone you can relate to he's he's basically he's basically kind of like a tough squidward right right and of course spongebob or um uh, deadpool is that like spongebob but obviously more violent more zany crazy unhinged spongebob you know if, if spongebob had no filter that the filter was taken off that 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 is essentially it right and maybe, maybe it in, um, uh, the only thing I'm, like, a little confused about is Peter. And I don't know what this, this whole, like, joke about Peter is. Like, is, is Peter supposed to be, like, I don't know, like, what, what, what is Peter, right? Like, I, I, um, I'm a little confused. Like, I'm, I, I like, I, I kind of get the basic gist of Peter, but I also don't get Peter in a, to an extent. It's like... I thought he died in the second one, but I guess I don't know. Like, is he immune? Is he like, um, is are there like infinite Peters or something? Like, I, I'm not sure. Like, what's going on with that? Is is it like a 
like a Kenny thing where even though he dies, he come always comes back to like every episode or something. I'm not sure what's um, up with that, but Peter exists. And he has some sort of role playing in the film. Um, besides being like that um, nice co-worker or whatever that, you know, ha- has you covered. You know what I mean? Which is kind of funny because, like, I, I, can re- I, I can sort of relate to that because I do have that co-worker that always, like, helps me out. But, um, you know, he, but he kind of acts like an asshole. <laughs> but, you know, but overall, it's very helpful. But... Peter here, obviously, he's like a very nice guy. Everybody loves him. He's so nice. He's very helpful. He's like, he's got your back kind of guy, right? Nobody can hate him, pretty much. And um, it does play a little bit later on of an important role, if I haven't said it already. But yeah, that's definitely later on. Um, but by the way, yes, I'm going to have spoilers in the spoiler section. So yeah, I'm like really trying to like not spoil things, but talk about the film. Anyway, so... The action, let's just go ahead and get into the action. Um, the action was fantastic, I would say. Whenever whenever there was action, of course. Um, there was a good amount of it. I think that I felt like there was um, a good third of it, right? If you're going to like talk about the film as a whole, there's a, a third of it is a good amount of action. And then two thirds of it is like all that dialogue i think that's what it felt like to me anyway i'm not trying to be like scientific or anything like that but what it felt like to me is more dialogue scenes or talking scenes but those talking scenes for the most part were done well like i didn't i, I didn't felt bored or it wasn't droning on quite a bit um it was all funny like uh there there is a reason why you know they talk like this or you know they they said this or whatever like um pretty funny uh, if I haven't said it already, though, like, um, you know, the whole love letter thing, the characters, um, whenever they're in action was really cool, especially, um, well, one character, uh, especially, but, um, they do pay a good amount of respect to them, um, Especially if you even go back to as far as like the early, I think it was like, it was like late 90s or something. Um, you'll know what I'm talking about. I I, th- I thought his appearance was really cool. Um, there was a character, I, there was actually um, uh, a, a one character that I actually did not expect to appear. I was like kind of bamboozled in a way, but in a good way. Uh, it was it was all good. Um, there was unfortunately three characters that were kind of spoiled for me on twitter uh like so but but um i didn't know when they were going to appear and so when they appeared it was really cool i love like the entrance they did it was just you know the music they chose the shots the how it was filmed right the camera angles and everything the slow motion and all that stuff was was like you know, it, you know what it, what that kind of scene is like—that cool entrance scene, walking all badass. Like you know, um, it definitely was pretty nice, right? To see those old characters back, even of course a character from Logan, right? If already, you know, when you mention Logan, it's like okay, you you know what character is going to appear in the movie, right? So yeah, um, all grown up, and so. Uh, again, really nice. Uh, you'll see like the uh, all the old, the old references based off of those movies, right? Which is again why it, why it has that like that that love letter nature to it, while shit posting the new stuff, right? So it it, it is serving a pretty good um, core audience in a way. Like they really they really know who who they're serving, and I think it, it does a good job in that department as well. Um, I'm really trying to like get the nuances out of the way. So like, uh, like the they know that it seems like they know their core audience. So I think that's good, because these MCU films, I think in my opinion, have been all over the place. Like it, it's almost trying to please everybody, but doesn't wind up pleasing anyone at all. Um, especially with like She-Hulk stuff, the Miss Marvel stuff. Um, too too much of that. Too much of that when you you really all you need to do is please the core audience, right? 
which is yes the comic book readers or whatever but or people who just like marvel stuff i think that's all they really need to do and then the rest of the people can just like see the see and be like oh this looks interesting and then come in you know naturally like that without trying to pander and um force certain check marks into those films just so you can bring in this part of the audience or this demographic of the audience and and um it winds up like making the story kind of weird or it's like why did you make this choice you know what i mean it 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 starts to alienate who it's really supposed to be before right not that i'm trying to like you know segregate or anything like that you know i know that's a pretty uh peculiar word to choose but that's really kind of like winds up happening in a way i guess depending on who, who who you're who you're talking to i guess but anyway so um, Deadpool, the, the Deadpool films I've always sort of like know and uh, know where it's aiming at. I'm really glad that you know, being uh, it was you know rated R and stuff like that. I I really do think the whole rating thing, for the most part, um, yeah, it, like it that it does serve a purpose, but even like when you make how clear you are. With the rating and everything. Oh yeah, it's a rated R film. Kids kids are gonna find a way to watch the film. So you might as well like let it, let it, let that happen and then you know you can go kinda willy nilly with it, which Deadpool does Deadpool Wolverine does with flying colors. You know? Now as you see with the trailers, right? You see Deadpool Wolverine fighting each other. I, I really like those scenes. Um, the first one, it's like, yeah, you already know what kind of happens in the first one, but like in the the, the other ones, it's the other one. Um, it was really great. I I, I really like how um, be how much beef. Well, more more on Logan's side, but how much beef there was with each other in the beginning of things, or at least in the first half. And uh, and then by the time, yes, like they bond and all that stuff, they bro it out, kind of. Of course, Deadpool being <clears throat> a little more obnoxious about it, but you know, you know, you know, it's like it's like the whole SpongeBob Squidward dynamic, right? So, um, th- so that that whole spiel has been do- has been done pretty well. Um. The casting for those characters, though, like, um, especially for one or two, um, was pretty good, I would say. Um, well, I mean, and then everyone else is like, oh, yeah, of course, like, you, you gotta bring back those characters, right? There was one character that was like, um, th- there was one character that did not have the original actor for, and I was like, kind of sad. Um, to see as someone who watched the X Men films, um, you'll you'll kind of notice, uh, eventually you'll 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 know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, anyway, anyway, speaking of which, uh, this this film was um almost flawless, but there were some um, imperfections that is a little hard to explain. But one particular one I can't explain is that the villain was kind of like, eh, like I, I just, I didn't feel the, I didn't feel for the villain as much. Um, I know she's supposed to be obnoxious, but I just felt like she was kind of obnoxious, um, in a more of a negative way for the most part. I just didn't like feel that connection that she, yes, like she is that villain, that charismatic villain. She was kind of just there to be obnoxious and um, being a villain. I don't know if like the whole like twin thing was um, something from the comics. I'm not sure. I'm sure there is somewhere, someone, someone somewhere from the uh, comic reading community will be like, "Yes, this happened in this particular issue or this part of the lineup of this issue." Because there's so many, there's so many comics about the same thing right retelling this going over this again but differently or something there's that's why we have these variants that is why we have these variants because there's so many comic book variants of 
the same superhero or superheroes, right? The teams or whatever. X-Men, you know, uh, on the DC side of things, Superman. Like, how many Supermans are there, right? Uh, how many Superman comics are there? That alone is, like, I'm sure, like, tons, right? Still, I just didn't really feel for this villain personally. Um, there were some moments I did found or find kind of funny but i don't know to me to me i didn't i, I didn't like this villain i mean i i, th I actually thought it was, she was someone else but um no i i, I did not completely feel for this villain that, I, that's, that's just me i don't know if anyone has like this has that feeling but or thinks similar thoughts but um i didn't completely buy it i don't hate her but not completely buying it either. That was, that's uh, definitely one of my mo uh, most um, notable negatives about the movie. Uh, the other negatives was... Um, it's just like um, all the little nitpicks that made me become one thing. But maybe some of the, uh, the action scenes could have been shot better. Maybe. Uh, especially during... Um, the last bit like the climax right but at least the some some there uh at least like what do you call the action scene involving with uh trying to get the gate open right the quote unquote i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm like being vague as much as possible but you'll know what i'm talking about <laughs> um uh that was pretty cool that was no actually that was really cool with the exception of one character not really being shown off all that much i was a little disappointed maybe maybe i'm like having a mandela effect and i um maybe somehow i'm like glossed glossing over it but i felt like there was one one character who definitely is important but didn't have like that limelight with the action so but hopefully maybe i'm wrong i don't know um would i go see this again um I think for now, no. I rather rewatch this on streaming. That's where I'm at with this movie. But it's a good one-time watch in the theater for sure. I did I did watch this by the way in Dolby Cinema, um, which definitely helped with the sound. The picture was the picture quality was great. You can definitely really see like Logan's like face, right? Detailing all that stuff. That was a, it, it is essentially it without really trying to like spoil things um without like starting to repeat points so um kind of go going over uh real quick um well before before i do that there is one more thing i do i do want to mention the opening wow the opening scene wow um there is a reason there is a reason why a a um i guess it's a it's a classic, I guess, at this point. An older boy band song has gone popular because of that movie, right? Let's just put it that way. So, incredible. I thought that was incredible. I like the the violence. It's it's almost like using violence as an art, you know? And I, I do like that. Um, that's why I watch, like, Tarantino movies and all that stuff. Great. I thought it was great. So now... Kind of recapping on it, the action scenes were great for the most part. Um, the dialogue was good. It knows the core audience. Um, it celebrates um, the old Fox films, right? Well, yes, it does make fun of it to an extent, but really, it does. It definitely makes fun of the recent MCU stuff. You know, it comes in to save. You know, being uh, Marvel Jesus, right? That's the whole joke too. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, that it so again it almost like really feeds into that conspiracy of purposefully making these bad MCU films just so that Deadpool can like really be leveraged to be like that film right I just can't help but think of that in the back of my mind at least um and then uh, let me see so oh yeah the music was like funny right it adds to the com comedy and all that stuff um good humor all that stuff oh yeah so 
yes, a lot of the humor does involve with like, you know, kind of borderline sexual, if not it is sexual, a lot of like romantic related humor, love, right? Um, <laughs> and of course, there's drugs to an extent because, you know, like the whole blind lady. Um, I love that. I love the nicknames they always try to come up with for cocaine, even though like, yeah, we get it. It's cocaine. It's fucking cocaine, right? But I love the nicknames that they come up with for the for the movie, right? I think yes. Yeah, I think throughout the Deadpool movies, it's that's you know, uh, that's a, that's been a thing. Now back to here, um, there is a reason why. There is a reason why this film is doing so well, right? It's almost like, hey, stick to the guns of what these Marvel franchises are about and people will love them, right? You know, don't focus on like all the hoopla, like, you know, trying to bring in these audiences and as well as the core audience as well because you're going to wind up like, you know, hitting your own, uh, stepping on a broom and hitting your face with it or something, What you know, stepping on the, what do you call the, the farming hoe and, you know, wind up hitting your face almost, um, slipping and falling. Uh, sp speaking, speaking of slipping, right, I love, I love they bring that, they brought back that quote involving with ice skating on the hill. Oh my god, it was so, it was so, just, man, nostalgic, nostalgic. Um, I, I liked where it's going, right? With the with the with this direction, it does introduce kind of an interesting concept to um the timeline thing or like uh, the variant thing. Um, though I maybe think possibly this won't do much, but it 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 does leave that door open, right? So. Um, but yes, uh, action great, all that stuff. The costumes were great, I thought. Um, you know, well, I'm, you know, I was glad that they were able to implement the comic book stuff, but also at the same time, obviously you gotta, like, <clears throat> you gotta like modernize it to make it, make it work for the film. But they were able to pull it off, I think, with flying colors. I love the use of gore i love the action for the most part um therefore the action scenes were mostly great uh the dialogue writing and all that stuff is good solid and yeah a couple couple of flaws and stuff like that especially with the villain i didn't feel for the villain all that much as much as i should maybe i should feel or something i mean that's essentially it in a in a in a nutshell so mostly solid film so therefore i'm going to really give this like a solid nine out of ten um uh this is definitely something you sh should see in theaters but um this is something you don't really need like uh like that cinematic sound surround sound stuff package for just watch the film um with what you can uh and and you'll definitely still have like that similar experience i mean the dolby cinema thing um it was nice the picture was good it was great but the sound is really what i look forward to right and like there are a couple of scenes that do call for it but it's not like um it's not really necessary i think it's not like a star wars film where yes like you want the laser sound and the ships whirling around and shit like be all like like basing and all that stuff or like Godzilla and stuff like that but you know yeah if you can afford it it's it's there for Dolby Cinema but I say just like if you if you can only afford a regular ticket go get that regular ticket because you'll you'll like get like the humor still the you know all that disgusting humor and you know the dialogue you can still get Deadpool right you get you still get Deadpool you get the Wolverine all that stuff you know uh, so yeah, I love the characters, the inclusion of them, and blah, blah blah all that stuff. So, solid film. I would like to see it again for streaming, 
but for for me, uh, probably not a rewatch, you know. But uh, if it's on streaming, I'll definitely try to watch it. I know I'm like like droning on, rambling and stuff like that. I'm sorry, but I can't help it sometimes. But yeah, I'm glad though uh, I, that I've watched this film because. I've been out of the MCU game for the most part, and I've been watching like The Boys, right? Which is like perfect for me because I have that sort of like that MCU fatigue. And, um, you know, this film was like essentially kind of like a good in between with The Boys and, well, the MCU, right? Because, yeah, it does make um, shit posts and just makes fun of MCU stuff, um, right? But it also just focuses on being what it is right it's a deadpool film featuring wolverine and does pay respects to the the sort of the cult films right the cult classics if you will with like x-men um and other other fox films right i'm not gonna you know try to spe specify which one right for the sake of spoilers and um yeah so um, and yes, you know, though some of those Fox films were pretty bad too as well. It does have a share, fair share of the bad films. It, it like it still makes fun of like the that Deadpool, right? You know what I'm talking about? Like that terrible, terrible version of Deadpool. Or should I say Wade Wilson? I don't know. Anyway. So that's it for without spoiling things. I do want to talk about some spoilers in the spoiler section. So um, for those who don't want to be spoiled or whatever, please go see the film. Highly recommend it at least once. If you're like trying to get back to the MCU like me ish, but at the same time you're still like kind of you kind of like roll your, roll your eyes at like Disney or whatever. I think this is a perfect film, right? Especially if you're coming from watching The Boys. And then watching this, it's like, you know, it kind of makes sense. So, anyways, thank you very much. I'm going to go into spoilers now, so I'll see you there. Alright, so, spoiler time. Um, I think the direction, I do, I do really like the whole, like, um, anchor being thing, and of, and then Wolverine apparently being an anchor being, uh, for at least for that world. But you know, it's like, uh, I guess when Wolverine or Logan died in Deadpool's world, it, um, I guess supposedly like it's starting to decay the the uh the timeline, but. Of course, if Deadpool, like, um, does stuff, it'll, like, maintain the timeline or something. Uh, it, it's a little, little hard to, like, kind of, like, correctly explain it. But basically, if Deadpool didn't do stuff, boom. I mean, that's it, right? For the, for the timeline. I mean, it'll, like, decay slowly, but it'll surely decay. But anyway, he wanted to see if, um, bringing in Wolverine... Uh, from another universe or whatever, uh, or another multiverse, whatever the hell, would uh, save his timeline, his world, or not, right? And that's what uh, what, he, what he wanted to try because, um, you know, he has the few that he wants to save, and then you know. Um, and that's all, really all he, all he wants in his life is the few friends that he has um, that are on his side. Uh, and then, you know, um, Logan was just like, um, he went through um, some, some horrible shit, pretty much, on, in his world. Because the X Men died, and um, he didn't do a thing about it uh, until after the fact. And of course, he felt bad and whatever. But still, he saw himself like a shitty person, and he pretty much fell into depression. And 
wanted to drink his way through those mo uh, emotions, I guess, right? Um, and, um, yeah, so that's why you kind of, like, uh, see Logan do that stuff a lot. But, yeah, obviously. Um, but, yeah, so, um, obviously, Gambit was so funny because of the accent Deadpool was just like what the hell are you saying like we're missing the important stuff right for the plot you know <laughs> and then um, there's that famous line that's be that's um, now being repeated on Twitter funny enough uh, after I watched it right so good thing right because I didn't uh, would have been spoiled but um, he's like I've been waiting for this a long time Ooh. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know about time <laughs> Uh, I forget. I forget the, like the full line, but he's just like, he he's got that like that weird French slash Cajun accent. Uh, by Chan uh, Channing Tatum, right? Um, that casting was very interesting. Um, I don't. I I completely. Um, uh, don't like hate it. It's a, it's it's almost like it's it it works right, but for different reasons. Uh, Tatum is not my number one, uh, I, uh, but although it's not to say that I have a number one choice like I have in my head, but I think I wouldn't think Channing would be my first one. It, it, it would have have it, it would have been someone else, but nonetheless, though I think he nailed it right. He made it definitely work. The costume for that was very nostalgic. A little weird with the head, but you know. Um, but the rest of them was pretty cool. I kind of wish they did something with his eyes, when especially when he actually uses his powers. But I think they did. But it's all. It's, I think it's just like purple glowing eyes. But the rest of uh, Gambit was cool. I, I I really like how he fought. Um, the cards, right? They look stupid. The way he did them was really cool. Uh, of course, there there was Carmen Electra. Right with the size, that was cool. X twenty three, I was pretty disappointed. Um, like I said earlier, because of like the lack of her sh sort of time on the on the on the screen, especially with the when the action was happening. Obvi I mean, obviously she was fighting, but you don't get to see as much fighting as like you do with like Blade, right? Which I love, by the way. Um, I love like their dialogue exchange with Deadpool and stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, Blade, Elektra, and Gambit definitely had their own, like, little, little set pieces, right? But I don't remember sex 23s other than, like, the, what, the backpack and, like, um, oh, yeah, the, she had the sunglasses from, like, the gas station that they stopped by in the Logan movie, which is kind of a nice touch. Um, so the attention to detail was pretty good there. Um, but, oh, yeah, I mean... Before that, all that happened, of course. Deadpool and uh, Wolverine. Um, well, Deadpool was looking for a Logan, right, of sorts. And I love, like, the different variant Logans that Deadpool was finding, including, like, this really small one. And then he got, the, he got like, the biker one, I think. Um, and then, and of course, there's, well, the one, right? He was all depressed and drinking and he wore the suit of course right the yellow suit and um uh logan stuck with deadpool because he thought oh deadpool has a answer to his uh problem i guess but he only made an educated wish i think that was right uh deadpool and then so they they're fighting uh, especially in the car, right? The Honda Odyssey, ha ha, he he, whatever, right? You know, um, <laughs> why that car? Maybe, maybe that's exactly why. It's like right, just a random family. It's a popular. I mean, it's a popular van, but also it's like why, right? But anyway, that's the whole. That's the whole shtick of it. Anyway, so they were fighting in that van. I, I thought that was great, especially with the seatbelt and everything. Um, the back and forth and all that stuff. Um, 
what was it? The uh, oh yeah, there's a scene where yes, they wind up in the void. Uh, before that, and then they met up with um. With um. Oh yeah, sorry, Human Torch, who I thought was going to be a Captain America. I was like, oh shit, right? But that was probably like. That's that's what they intended, right? It was actually um. <laughs> Human Torch instead of a Captain America because you know Chris Evans, right? Um. Like for a moment, I almost forgot that he was he was Human Torch. But yes, I definitely vividly remember him being Human Torch. And um, he unfortunately got his uh, skin ripped out and all that stuff and turned into a uh, sort of meat and bones. <laughs> and um, there is that end credit scene where yes, he actually did say those things, right? Which I thought was, um, I was like, huh, right? We didn't hear it, but Logan said, he, but Logan never said that he didn't say it, right? He just said, you got him killed. So that, that was like, hmm, that was kind of like that clue. I'm like, hmm, right? Did he actually say those things? I think he did, or it is possible. You know, because because he didn't doesn't outright like say no or anything. He did he didn't say it. You know, again he just he just said you got him killed. So uh, I love the end credit scene. It just like shows Chris repeating exactly what Deadpool said. Therefore, that's why he uh, was killed by. Um, uh, I've got a name already. It's like um, um, Charlington. I think it was. Anyway, she's supposed to be Xavier's twin, female twin. Although I think her powers were kind of interesting. I forgot to I forgot to say, but I, they might have spoiled things. Anyway, otherwise, I think. Anyway, her iteration of her powers is interesting. It's like it's basically almost like Charles, but she has to touch someone. That's like her only like flaw is that she has to come in contact, uh, whereas Charles can just do it with his mind, right? Um, especially once he has the helmet on, he can like amplify his powers and reach to somebody, right? Whereas she has to actually have her fingers like in their head, and like, the the effect was kind of cool, but like she has to come in contact. By the way, she can like rip people like apart, literally, and like do all this like doohickey things. And at first, um, it's weird because like um, uh, there was one part. I mean, Moving on from Char Ch Charlington, whatever her name is. Her henchman, right, was interesting because uh, when Human Torch tried to shoot his fire, um, the guy who was sucking the fire in, I even I didn't even realize it was Pyro until I think he pulled out the lighter or something. I think he pulled out the lighter, but but then it came back, but it came came to me. I was like, oh shit, that's Pyro! I completely forgot about Pyro. Holy shit! He looks so different because of the beard and everything. And, like, he was sucking in the power, or he was sucking in the fire rather than, you know, kind of like controlling the fire and, like, I don't know, like throw it at somebody else or throw it at Deadpool or something. I guess he has, like, he can, like, control the fire to, like, go into the. I don't know. Right. Um, I guess he, he can, like, store fire or something somewhere. I, I don't know. But I know he can control fire, but he can never create fire. Hence why he brought the... He always had that lighter with him. But... I don't know. Um, but yeah. But, but, but yeah, it's his Pyro. Who, yes, later on died. But anyway. Um, so let me see. Uh, yes, Juggernaut. So I was referring to Juggernaut when I was disappointed that it wasn't the original actor. I know it's supposed to be like that. That I don't know if he's British or... Scottish, maybe a little bit of both. I don't know. Um, that actor, I forget his name. He was in like a couple of movies from like the early two thousands or like those like um, that era of movies. He was like that side character sort of actor that appeared frequently. I think. I remember. I remember definitely he was in um, Euro Trip. 
he's like the guy he's just says oi and then he's like the 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 tough guy of the bar or whatever right i, I, forget, I forget what it was but anyway that actor uh, was not juggernaut unfortunately i really wanted that guy to be back as juggernaut because he it, it was so like outlandish to have him cast it as juggernaut but at least he said the line at the time which um you know back when memes weren't really called memes they're just jokes or references just to jokes on the internet but uh he said the line of like i'm the juggernaut bitch and you know but he didn't even i don't think he even get got to say the line in this movie unfortunately so that was a little disappointing on that and uh even more disappointing that it wasn't that actor either it was some like different dude but different variants whatever right I, i i'm so like i'm i'm so like I'm getting more tired about the whole variant thing. You know. Anyway. So. <laughs> um, where was I going with that? Oh. So. Henchman. Right. There was Toad. Right. Nice. And then there was Sabretooth. Right? I was like. Oh shit. You know. This is like watching the first movie all over again. Right. But of course. Um, he got his head chopped off. Um. It was like it was the, it was the saber tooth from um oh what was it um the first X Men live action film so he had that like the the hair and everything the fangs um, later on they kind of like changed up saber tooth like drastically to that one actor I forget <laughs> his name uh, but I think he was also in Logan if I'm not mistaken anyway. Uh, that that saber tooth made it in for a brief bit, but it was um it was still like nice to see. But yeah, he got his head chopped off. Um, and then Deadpool did the whole thing was like, oh yeah, I'm you know the queen or whatever the fuck, yeah, you know that whole that whole line. Um, let me see. Was there any other like worthy scenes? I guess. Um. Mm, oh yeah so there is that part with um the deadpools right there was lady deadpool there was like samurai ronin deadpool which was massively stereotyped yeah you know he was like pita san hey <laughs> which i'm just like okay wow you know um <laughs> uh, i love the uh what do you call his arm got chopped off, and it's always like the baby arm still. It was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, what do you call? Him? I thought that was kind of like strange because, like, um, yeah, the whole action sequence was like cool. It could have been shot better, but it was it was pretty cool for what it was, with the whole like side scrolling camera thing, and then they're just like continuously finding all the Deadpool's and stuff like that, you know. Um, I really thought they're they're just dead, like just straight up dead. But yeah, they're Deadpool, so obviously they gotta have some sort of like regenerative ability. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, lo and behold, they came. They were regenerating. So Lady Deadpool's still alive. Of course, they got the weird like I don't know if it's supposed to be like a Tokusatsu Deadpool, or whatever. Uh, of course, there was a, ca- a cowboy Deadpool. Um. And then you got baby Deadpool, you got kid pool, um, like there you got all these like steampunk one and like there's all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds, right? The gas mask one, like World War One Deadpool, whatever, all kinds. But there was the one Deadpool, right? Nice pool. <laughs> it was, uh, I. <laughs> I, I can't lay a finger on it, but I'm like, he, he's got that like that that uh, thing going on. I I know I I forget that word, right? Where it's like, I don't know. He's like, yeah, he's nice, but he's like, he's very like, um, very passive, but uh, but at the same time like. 
Like you know he wants to he wants to be aggressive. Right? He wants to be the Deadpool that we know. But he's like holding it all in, like, oh yeah, you know, ha ha ha. Oh you know, he got uh let's see who's who's the who um who Doc Poe really likes, you know. That kind of thing. It, it, it's such a specific thing for that type of character or the, for that type of personality. But whatever. Like, Nice Pole, that Nice Pole was like, he got fucked up. <laughs> he got fucked up. Especially not being able to regenerate. Oh, man. Poor, poor uh, Nice Pole. Rip. <laughs> Rest in peace. Yeah, I think uh, he he uh, de- definitely deserved better, quote unquote. But anyway, um, and then yeah, you know he got the um, what do you call uh, antimatter versus uh, um, uh, whatever matter, and then you put them together, short circuit the thing. Pretty simple, right? Um, of course, somehow Deadpool and Wolverine survived it. I guess maybe because they're um, they have they have that 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 crazy um, regenerative ability. I guess or or you know the X factor maybe. I don't know. Um, but the what's her face? Um, Char 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 Charlton whatever blows up. Doesn't survive. I guess. Even though she has, I think, some regenerative abilities. Or I think she's just crazy durable or something. I forget, I forget what was happening with her. But I think she I think she had some sort of regenerative ability, right? But I guess, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe because, you know, uh, it was Deadpool and Wolverine together. They were able to survive, whereas she's just one body, right? Her body couldn't handle it on her own. Uh, I guess if she was with, with someone else, maybe that would have helped. But no. I mean, you know, writer's convenience, I guess, right? But then there's that scene, right, with um, I forget her name, but she's like the chief, whatever, of that group. Uh, for the uh, time police, time the time patrol, or whatever you call them, and then. She was like locking eyes with Peter, right? Peter Pool or Peter, right? It's like again, like I don't, I don't get Peter, right? I don't get get it. And um, it's funny because a uh, paradox was just like, what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> you have like the chief was just like, oh, you know, um, hello, Peter, <laughs> kind of thing, but without actually saying it. I think she had that face, and uh, yeah, Paradox was just like just massively, massively confused. So, um, but essentially, that is pretty much it. Um, so that happened, and then Logan and Deadpool essentially live in the same world now. Um, and he even like comes over to, um his place, I guess, to, like, um, just hang out and stuff. They were, like, celebrating or whatever, whatever it is, they are just hanging out. And then Deadpool gets back together with that one chick, I guess. So, all is well, woo! But now it's like, okay, what happens, right? What's, what's next? Well, the only thing that's like the re- that's like the real like future foreshadowing, I guess, is the the very early part where um, on that TV screen, right, one of the screens uh, was showing Deadpool, I guess, dying somehow, and then uh, he's being held up by um, by Thor, right? And uh, even Deadpool was like, "What's what, wait? Wait a minute! What's that?" And then Paradox was like, "Oh shit! This is something you're not supposed to see." <laughs> so it's like uh, obviously, it's an obvious teaser to what's gonna happen with Deadpool in the future, right? Once um, you know, like long after Secret Wars, I guess. So I guess it's something like they already filmed, but you're saving it for um, 
Secret Wars and all that stuff after Secret Wars, or if not, that is in Secret Wars. Who knows? So, it does um, leave an interesting little footnote and stuff. It does make me feel a little more sort of rejuvenated, I guess, to go watch all the other MCU stuff just to kind of like make sure I catch up and stuff. You know, just just to kind of like fulfill my curiosity. Like, okay, like, you know. Um, I kind of want to have my own review for those movies, right? Now that like, okay, maybe things are, are starting to like kind of look a little more hopeful, I guess, for... Uh, Doomsday and uh, Secret Wars that's coming up with yours truly, Robert uh, Robert Downey Jr. and Doomsday, right? Um, who knows, right? What's um, why they have him back? What he's supposed to be really? We don't know. He could be just like a body for Doom or something, like a Doom bot or some, something like that, and then make room for the real Doom or something. I I don't know. Uh, but yeah, now, but that's besides the point. So, uh, we'll, we'll definitely can see a future with the X-Men, right? X-Force, whatever. Um, Deadpool is still going to be around nonetheless until, I guess, that happens, right? That that scene happens with Thor. Um, I'm trying to see if I'm, like, Forgetting anything or not. No, not really. It doesn't really set up anything else besides um, the possibility of, yeah, Gambit, Elektra, and Blade um, joining up with uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, right? So you can't have like, their own sort of X-Force or whatever you call it. Or that's what the X-Men uh, will become, right? Or uh, what was it? Uh, Midnight Society? I think it was. I, I don't know. Um... Whatever, whatever that game was, right? The Midnight, whatever the fuck. <laughs> um, and that becomes a, a, another faction, right? Uh, so, anyways, that's pretty much it, right? Like, you had the beginning. You had the whole, like, thing with Happy, uh, um, right? Him trying to be an Avenger, but he f did not uh, get the job. And then he goes back to his old job right now, or his current job, excuse me, just being a car salesman, um, you know, trying to live a low, normal life, not being Deadpool, but he winds up being Deadpool anyway. So um, he, oh yeah, he got a new costume, right? I was, that's what happened. Uh, Taylor made, and then the Taylor's like all weird and perverted, so he like kept slapping his ass and grabbed his balls. So, <laughs> uh, what was it? Um, Peter grabbed uh, Wade's old suit, and that's what he was wearing, uh, I guess, at the time. You know? Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, the Cajun accent was funny from Gambit. I loved it. Or Slash French. I thought it was pretty funny. Nice to see um, uh, Electra back with, um, I think it's Jen Jennifer Garner, right? Man, it's like, oh, it's been a, such a long time since, since I last said that name with uh, Ben Affleck and all that stuff, right? Um, yeah. Man, and then Blade, like, my goodness. Um, really want to see if uh, they can really make that Blade movie, right? But, yeah. It'll definitely be with a different person, right? You know, again, playing with the whole variant thing. Man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, alright, that's it. It's been an hour already. It's been a little over an hour. I'm gonna cut it there. So, thank you very much. That's been my sort of spoiler slash rambling talk about Deadpool Wolverine. Again, I really liked it. Um, very solid, um... Uh, I guess it's an MCU film, right? So, best one in a long time <laughs> for me. So, with that, uh, if you have any comments, leave me down below. Love to read them. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate you guys. And uh, 
uh, maybe the next film I may check out. Um, I was kind of curious though. Oh, I forget, I forget what it was. It's definitely not Borderlands. I'm not gonna go watch that because I, it's you know come on, it's twenty. I'm not gonna pay twenty bucks to go see a shitty movie. I mean, come on. Okay, maybe I will. I don't know. I'll leave that open for now. We'll see. It's like a car accident, right? You can't you can't help but look. Anyway. <laughs> We'll see about that. Um, I'm like forgetting the one movie I'm like very curious about. Ugh. Anyway. Um, thank you very much. Uh, hope to see you all in the next uh, video. Bye bye. I was about to say film. But anyway, bye bye.